Hey up, welcome back. Benny Vapes here with another review. So today, what we're going to be looking at is an item I picked up for this review, and it is the Inakin Podding. So I have had this a little bit, and I just haven't got round to review it. I got it on a deal. Um, got it at Christmas from Inakin. Um, went on their site, and they were doing a Christmas deal. So I paid £20 for this, which I thought was a bargain, and uh, I just haven't got round to doing it. So I thought I'd do it now. So what we're going to do is go down low, have a look around with it. They ain't a great deal to show you. And then we'll come back up and we'll have a little bit of a chinwag about it. So I'll see you in a minute. Hi, sorry for stopping it there. But if you just look along the bottom, you will see the subscribe button. Much appreciated if you're enjoying this video. Just give us a little subscribe. And while you're there, you'll see a little bell. Just tap on that and turn on your notifications. And you will keep up to date with everything that I'm putting out on my channel. Thank you very much, and on with the review.
Right, so we're back up top looking at the Inikin boarding. Podding? Not sure which. What do I think about it? I like how it feels in the hand. It is small. It's discreet. You can put it in your shirt pocket. You can put it in your handbag. You can put it away. You know, the mouthpiece on it is really nice. I prefer on these the whistle tips, so the little flat ones, and it does feel nice in the mouth. I like that you've got a quick release. You press the button on the side there, and your pod comes out. Push it back in again, and it's insecure. It does come out if you pull it hard enough, but it's not going anywhere just normally. It's, it's in fast. You have to give it a good yank. You do get a lanyard with it, which I forgot to show you down below, which I showed you in the case. But on this lanyard, when you open it up, that's a nice, it's a nice big lanyard on it. it says Inakin on it. But when you pull it, it is actually your USB micro usb so if you pull do decide to put it on you have got your charging cable with you all the time you know i'm not a big fan of wearing it around my neck so i won't i won't really wear it there to be honest with you but it's a nice touch and you've always got your charging cable with you i don't like that you have to charge it on the bottom though i'd have preferred it on the side you know so you could sit it down You've got to lay it flat. There's no leakage out of that, as you can see. It doesn't leak. You can turn it upside down. It doesn't leak. There you go. No leakage out of it. It has got a nice big port on it. But I do have a tendency to... If you look, it has got an arrow. I don't know if you can see. So it does show you. But how it sees, I'd be trying to pick it out that way when you pick it out this way. So when you pick it up... You open it up and you've got a nice big port there. But I have a tendency to try and <laughs> flick it out that way for some reason. Don't know why. I always try to take it out the wrong way around. I like that it's button or mouth activated. And when you draw on it, it does fire straight away. Because a lot of the earlier draw activated pods, they didn't hit straight away. You had to give it a good suck on it. Whereas this one, you can gently suck on it and it's there. So non-adjustable airflow, which could be a negative to some people. But I find this is just right amount of airflow for me. Other people probably want it a bit tighter. Some people want it a bit looser. But I quite like the airflow on it. For me, it makes quite a nice mouth to lung. I also like that they've gone and thinking out of the box. So, as you may have seen, when I showed you the box, it had a J on it. So, what they've done with this is, if you've got, in America, you do the dreaded word dual, you can flick this out, take it out, and you do get an adapter. This one came in the box, and this one's for the dual. So you can use your dual pods with it. And obviously you get a, a better shape, a bit better battery, and, you know, it's draw activate and everything that you was going to get before, and you can use button if you so wish. Being in the EU, you can use a my blue one. I picked this up. They do come in little packages like that, and they've got an M. So your M adapter is for your my blue. Your J adapter is for your dual pods. What you do is take your pod out, slide this one in, if I get it the right way around, not the right way, that might be the right way, it might be, there you go, sits flat, and I so happen to have a My Blue Pod, because I did buy one to try it out, and the shit, <laughs> they taste like ass, so I wouldn't bother, but they do fit in as so, and then And it still tastes like monkey's ass. It's been there a while. You know, you can see how much I, I enjoyed it because that's how far I got down it. It just tastes like monkey's ass, does that? But if you do like the jewel or you do like the My Blue, then, you know, you've got an option for using your pods in this. And all you do is take it back out again and put your pod back in and you're good to go. So I would say 
that it's a good transition because you can then use this and you do get separate coils in it so you can upgrade from just using a pod system with a non-replaceable one where you just throw these away and when you think it's time for you to add your own juice you just get one of these and you can add your own juice to it it has sort of got variable wattage you can go eight or nine i have no idea what the difference is but you either got eight watts or nine watts it doesn't make a blind bit of difference to be honest with you a bit pointless doing that rather do it at nine or do it at eight because turn it to eight watts turn it to nine watts it don't make a blind bit of difference so what do i think all in all if you can pick this up like i did i got this like i say from mimicking um on their website and it cost me £20. For £20, for a nice little pod that feels good in the hand, it's definitely a keeper. You'll like it. You can get it in various colours as well. You know, good to have it as a backup for when you're going out or you need a little discreet device. It's as good as rest of pods out there. You know, the coil longevity hasn't been too bad. The first one lasted me about a week and a bit, so I wanted my second coil. So not too bad for the pod. You know, they usually we I'm usually getting about two week out of a Nautilus, so a week and a bit's not too bad. So all in all, not a bad little pod. If you are in the market of getting another one. So I hope you found this video informative. You can find me on Twitter, you can find me on Instagram. I will put a link to a video that I think you might enjoy. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.